say that he had a dream in which he was the world champion. It's the first time he's ever allowed himself to talk in those terms. First time he's ever allowed himself to even discuss the possibility of winning a world championship. That dream has clearly turned into a nightmare on the streets of Singapore here this evening. And uh, instead, it's Fernando Alonso who plays his cards right and is going to come through on the anniversary of his last Grand Prix victory to win for Renault. It's been quite a drought for them since winning the 2006 World Championship. There is Lewis Hamilton, who looks set to take home six World Championship points, increasing his lead over Massa to seven points with three races to go. Yep, 30 points available then, and seven ahead. Mind you, he was 16 ahead, wasn't he, last year, and <laughs> didn't win it. Yeah, but it means, cru crucially, that he can afford to finish second behind Massa in all the remaining three Grand Prix, and he'll still be the world champion. Yeah, good point. Of course, I'm sure Raikkonen didn't have something to say about that, but uh, it is an important psychological situation for Lewis Hamilton, and really those two have been in the league of their own, pace-wise and performance-wise, in the closing stage of this Grand Prix. Three times in the last five races, they started together on the front row of the grid. So it's going to be a hot finish to this World Championship season, but let's uh, stand and celebrate the achievement of Fernando Alonso in his 118th Grand Prix star, coming through to take his first victory of the, of the season, and Renault's first win of the season, and the 20th of his Formula One career, the man who many regard at the moment as the best pound-for-pound -pound driver in Formula One, Fernando Alonso coming through to take the chequered flag and claim a very, very well-deserved victory in Formula One's first ever night race. Second is Nico Rosberg, an extending... Ayrton Senna once, Nigel Mansell once, Damon Hill once. Michael Schumacher has done it twice. And with victory here today, statistically speaking, he is almost certain to claim his seventh world championship. No one has ever won the first three races of the season and not won the title. And Montoya, who is lying a strong second to him with just uh, just seven points behind, is going to hurt badly today scoring one point. If he's lucky, Mark Webber might still get him by that point. Rubens Barrichello is really going to consolidate himself in second spot. And Jensen Button is looking pretty strong at the moment. He, he's going to overtake Montoya. That is assuming they all finish this lap. Yeah, and the Ferrari it ain't over till just it goes on and on, doesn't it? It just looks unstoppable. And Michael Schumacher slowing down now to preserve the win, allowing Rubens Barrichello to get close. But there it is, career victory number 73 for Michael Schumacher as he continues to extend his all-time victory record in Grand Prix racing. From start to finish, it's a first win at the Russian Grand Prix and for Mercedes celebrations. Lewis Hamilton is ready to spray the champagne as a race winner in Sochi. He's decided I want to finish in the top three on merit on the track. And it's Nico Rosberg back winning again. Rosberg wins in Baku. The speakers announced Sanjo has retired for the broken oil pipe. And so Farina comes in to receive the checkered flag, the winner at an average speed of 90.95 miles an hour. It's been a great Italian victory with Fagioli second and Carnell. Well, conspiracy theorists will claim that it was only after Michael Schumacher won his championship that Rubens Barrichello was allowed to go out and get it done. Let's listen and see if the team welcomes him home.